Do you want to be the best like no one ever was? I'm guessing that that's your real test and so you're trying to catch them all before your friends, before the internet as a whole, to get in early on Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and today that's what this video is going to help you do totally legally, totally fairly, totally on the up and up with Nintendo. It's gonna give you access to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet at least 24 hours before everybody else. So what's going on everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force. This is a super cool week, and I'm telling you, these open world Pokemon games are going to absolutely take over your brain. So let's show you how to get this done, all right? Let me know in the comments down below if you're gonna grab Scarlet or Violet and if you uh, if you wanna play early. So to kickstart this entire process, we've gotta go to nintendo.accounts.com and that is where we're going to be able to create our new Nintendo account. Now we obviously wanna create a brand new account because we are trying to access a different region eShop and we'll have to pick our birthday. I was born on January 1st. Uh, 1893. It was a very, very festive New Year's Day before the turn of the century. We gotta create a nickname here. Obviously, you guys can pick whatever you want. Switch Force Aus is not gonna fit, so I'll do SF underscore Aussie to uh, help me know that this is my Australian account. I'm gonna put an email in. Now, if you have an extra email, you can use that, but it can't be one that's already tied to a Nintendo account, so you may need to create a new Gmail. I'm gonna use the Switch Force Aus at gmail.com. That way, I know it's, uh, it's gonna be good. Got to get the password in here, so we'll skip past that real fast. And it's got your date of birth, uh, it's got your gender, and then most importantly, your country or region. So we're of course going to pick Australia. As I mentioned, New Zealand would be the ultimate best, but Australia is a very close second, and it's much easier to get those uh, those eShop point cards. So we are ready to go. We've got the account just about created here. Everything is set. I'm going to not receive emails and I am gonna to agree to terms of service. And then it's gonna want me to verify said email. So I'll go into my email, grab their little four digit code, super easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We bring the code back to the website. We confirm that we've got verification and voila, the account is going to be created. Now we need to eventually merge it onto our switch. But before we go to the switch side of things, let me show you how to get these point cards. Now. I know it seems a little dicey, like, ooh, you're gonna get other region point cards from a website, but I'm telling you, I've been doing this for three and a half years, ever since the Switch came out, and I have had no problems. So we're gonna use a website called offgamers.com, and the, the site may look like, oh my gosh, are they gonna take my money and not deliver the point cards? But I'm telling you, they will. A couple of years back, they struggled a little bit in terms of their verification of payment, and sometimes it would take a few hours to get your point cards. But last year and this year, it's been no problems. You get them almost instantaneously. And I'm gonna show you the whole process so you don't worry, you don't fear. If anything comes up, hopefully it'll come up for us uh, and we can make sure that we tackle this together. So here on Off Gamers, they sell all sorts of point cards. We obviously want Nintendo eShop point cards and they have them for all sorts of different regions, but we're gonna want to pick AUS, AUS for Australia. So you'll scroll down the list, click on Australia, and they have different point cards which show the Australian, denomination and then how much it costs in your denomination so for me it's us dollars and they've got this 60 dollar australian point card that costs roughly 40 bucks us now how much money do you need well it depends on the game of course so let's go to nintendo's oh it's not nintendo.au what is it nintendo australia is going to be oh nintendo.com and then au okay now conveniently they know what we want scarlet and violet are being advertised all over nintendo's website we hit pre-order now and it shows us the magical price of 79.95 now this is going to be as i mentioned in your denomin hello hello it's double gold points there we go <laughs> they're really trying to hide it here 70 i'm telling you this is totally legit i promise you like I've done this for every major release. 79.95, that's the amount we need to grab if we wanna get uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And you do get a special Pikachu and an adventure set as an eShop exclusive. This won't come with the uh, the box copy, but you're getting some potions and uh, some extra goodies here, rare candy and whatnot, uh, as an eShop exclusive for pre-ordering, getting the game early. And then of course, you get that in there, you start the download and you're ready to roll early before your friends, before everybody else, and you can begin catching Terrasalize Pokemon right away. Now, unfortunately, right now in Off Gamers, they only have the $60 cards in stock. Normally they have 60, 30, 15, so you can mix a 60 and a 30 and only have a little bit left over. You're gonna have to buy two $60 cards. 
which sounds terrible, but one, it's only about $80, so it's not that much more than the game, and two, you still get to use those points, and you can use those points for any future game, whether it's just a normal eShop game that's already out, something else that you want to get early, it's good to have the Australian bucks. Once you have this account set up, and once you purchase this, trust me, you're going to want to use it again, so having that extra currency, even if they don't bring those $30 cards back in stock, it's going to be okay to have the extra. I like to use PayPal. It seems to be the simplest way for them to receive your payment, confirm your payment, and deliver your order. You can use cards. I recommend PayPal. I just think it's the seamless, the most seamless and the easiest process. So once you buy, it's going to pop up this timer and say, okay, we're waiting for your order to be confirmed, in which case they will pop your code on this screen. But fear not. Even if it takes a couple minutes, you will get it. They'll probably send an initial email saying, hey, we received your order. We're verifying and processing, awaiting, awaiting. You got to wait for these, uh, this little timer to tick down. Cost me about 40 bucks, as I mentioned. I only need one of the cards because I already have some Austro. I already have some Australian currency, so I only need one card, but you'll probably need two. It does say that it needs a little bit more time, but fear not. This is going to work. I'm glad this happened that way. If it happens to you, you don't freak out and think that you got scammed. You didn't. This site just sometimes takes a little bit while to verify and confirm, and we will refresh once this timer is up. And look, there we go. The code is ready to go. Here's the code. You click show code. It gives you the code that you're going to plug in on the eShop on your Switch. You'll be able to create a new user. You can see I've got users for all sorts of eShop accounts, just in case there's anything exclusive, different, or early. We'll go here to add user, close out of my Mario Odyssey game that I was playing, and we'll create a new user. So we'll pick, ooh, they've got some, dude, I have to pick an Animal Crossing guy, right? I have to. Let's find a good Animal Crossing photo. Sorry for this uh, slight, uh, here we go. Beautiful, the, 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 the Nook kids. Um, the background, it's a little detour, but we need this. This is important. It's a good piece of the puzzle. Now we know that this is going to be ready to go. I'm going to nickname this um, Aussie. So I know that this is for my Australian account. You can nickname it whatever you want or nickname it Bob and or Animal Crossing itself. Then we have to link a Nintendo account. And that's why it's important that we did the, the part on the computer or your phone or wherever you want to create your account first. And we can then log into that via an existing Nintendo account that we set up. So as you remember, it was over here as the Switch Force Aws. I'm going to show you how simply uh, this all works. And Nintendo, you know, they may have some archaic online ways, but they do allow their accounts to nicely work. And the region free eShop action has been one of my favorite secret, or not secret rather, but favorite like subtle features of the Switch, something that Nintendo didn't really believe in before, something that they really locked down previously and that was very difficult to take advantage of, now is pretty cool. And after that's input, you'll be able to link to your console. And obviously that's okay because it's a brand new account for one specific purpose. And the good news is that it's pretty darn simple. A lot of times when you create an alternate uh, region account with a different service, they will really want you to input a credit card, an address, all sorts of those things. But you need not do that whatsoever. You're going to log into your Aussie account and don't worry. This is as easy as logging into your main account. It's super simple. Do not fear. It's very easy. And then all you go to is Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. All right, we got both of them here. They're double gold points. We know the price. It's $79.95. And we proceed to purchase. All right, when you go to proceed to purchase, this is where you'll be plugging in your funds. All right, as you can see, I currently have $3.46, nowhere near what I need. So I'm gonna go to Nintendo eShop card, and this is where you'll plug in your specific prepaid code that you received from Off Gamers or wherever else you decided to grab uh, the goods. And this process is, again, as simple as it is in your own region. You're gonna enter those codes. You're gonna get the appropriate amount of funds. You're gonna click continue to purchase, and it will begin downloading Pokemon Scarlet or Pokemon Violet. And I'm telling you, even if your eShop, your default, even if your Switch, your default, even if it is a US Switch or a, a UK Switch or whatever, it will respect that this is an Australian game and it will unlock via your Aussie account at the Australian time, not at your local time. And that's what buys you a full extra day to play this game. And depending on your region, it should be about 8 a.m. I mean, that's what it is for me, my time. It might be a little earlier or later on Thursday. We're talking Thursday for you, so not the Friday release that everyone else expects and deals with. You're going to be out here facing the Mona, 
catching Maridon and Coridon, riding on them, and picking your starter before anyone else has even had a chance to begin and create their character. That is an awesome advantage. That is an awesome part of the Switch. And honestly, it's a very, very awesome way that the Switch and the Nintendo Switch Online servers have evolved, have advanced, and have found themselves in a better position than they were in past generations. Region locking was a bummer. I ended up getting a Japanese 3DS. I ended up getting a European Wii U. It, it was all over the place uh, in that console generation. Now though, we have this awesome opportunity and now you can play Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, the biggest Switch release of the year. Early, baby. And there you have it. Easy peasy, one, two, three, maybe four. There's a couple steps here, but hopefully I outlined them for you. Nice and simple. The visual, the audio, you can figure it out. I have faith in you. And once you do this once, man, you're set for every other release. So if you want to grab Fire Emblem Engage early, if you want to be ready for Tears of the Kingdom early, you got the power now. So make sure to hit that like button if you appreciate this tip and trick. Again, totally legal. Nothing wrong here. This is just utilizing Nintendo's system the way that you need to use it. So, thank you so much for watching, my friends. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you're ready for a plethora of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. It is gonna be a baller week here in the Switch community, and I can't wait to share it all with you. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, stay positive out there. Love you lots. Switch Force, out. <laughs>